Hey guys, this is Joey and welcome back to some more PC building. And I finally figured out what's wrong with this Dell Optiplex. So what I looked up was the beep codes. And once I got the beep codes, I was able to figure out what was wrong with it. And clearly by what they're saying is the RAM. There's too much memory installed at once. So basically, what I gotta do is... Well, I gotta remove this CD-ROM. And then... Remove the four memory modules. No, it's really hard for you guys to see. I might be able to get a light on, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Some more light. But yeah. What I need to do is install it in a certain channel with two sticks and then put four sticks. In the last episode, I said that the Dell was a desktop. It's actually a small form factor. Surprisingly. Let me that and what we're looking for is memory so basically the memory we have to install it where is it I think I was on it right there so channels a so slots two and one which are white secure clips, which are that one and that one so let me remove this memory module and this one All right so let's try and boot this up and it boots also guys sorry for the poor uh, video quality I actually have to record on my phone because for some reason the camcorder that I use it's not recording my audio. I don't know why, just won't. And there we go. Two gigs, DDR2, eight hundred megahertz, four gigs installed. And then there there's a processor and all that if you guys want to see what that is. Uh date and time. Looks fine to me. All that other stuff's good. So what I'll do is escape and I will shut down the computer. What we're going to do is reinstall the RAM. Also, I am not using an anti-static wristband. I mean, you don't really have to. As long as you ground yourself every so often. And I'm not moving my feet on the rug or the carpet, so I shouldn't be generating that much static electricity. And look at that, look at that. How, how do you get a wire like that wrapped around a dim or a ram stick? Sorry, I, I took a test today on uh, Sims, Dims, and Rims, and I kind of got it all, all on my mind. Alright. Let's try this. And. Hey, there we go. Post screen. And. Any second now. Whenever you want to load. Come on. Come on. I hit the thing too far, too much. Uh. Oh, there it goes. Just took a while. All right, eight gigs DDR2, dual symmetric, 
two gigs, and everything seems fine. Yeah. So, sorry guys, this was late. I did record it, like, right after I figured out what happened. Which was, like, a Friday. Today's Monday. And for some reason, I don't know why, the camcorder just wouldn't record anything that I was, like, saying. Like, everything I said. Clear as it could be. Just didn't want to record the audio. It recorded video, but no audio. And I didn't feel like talking over top of that, which I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> so, basically, I tried it again with a different, because I thought, maybe it's a SIM card. Or the SD card. So, I tried it with two other SD cards. Wouldn't work. So, I was like, alright, I give up. And I'm down to using my phone. So, I'm just going to remove all these cables. And the way that I turn the power off is I like to either unplug it from the base or unplug it from the main brick. Well, not the brick, the uh, power strip. So since I don't want to reach down and pull that out, I'll just remove it here. See how the light's still on? I'll hit the button. Hold it in for a little bit. That just drains the power out. And yeah. So this Dell Optiplex 760 is done, and hopefully I can sell it. I'm going to miss this thing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, make sure to subscribe to me to notified of future videos. Sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. See you later. Yeah. And goodbye.